here's how a beginner would use presets and this is how a pro would use presets huge difference so in this video i'm going to show you how to use presets like a pro and also i'll be showing you how to install the presets inside lightroom mobile lightroom classic and adobe photoshop plus i'm going to give you a free preset which you can download from the description right now so let's do it to install the presets in lightroom mobile firstly you need to download and extract the zip file open the dng folder select all the presets tap the share icon and import to lightroom next open lightroom here you can find all the imported presets to save these presets open a preset tap this three dot and choose create preset firstly you need to enter the preset name then tap this drop down and choose create new preset group so this is going to be the folder in which this preset is going to be saved you can give it any name then here you need to check all the options under edit all right now this preset has been saved to see the saved one tap this preset option open the folder and there you have it now you can open any image open this folder and apply the preset you can also control its intensity by tapping here all right of course this is not the final result you have to make couple of adjustments to really enhance it but more on that on this chapter in the same way you can save all the remaining presets into this folder to access all at once okay next let's see how to install the presets inside lightroom classic firstly you need to open the software and import few images select an image open the develop tab and here you can find a plus icon next to presets tap on it and select import presets and then here you need to open the xmp folder select all the presets by holding command or control a then click on import all right now from here you can access all the presets and also you can play around with the intensity slider to make it perfect keep in mind that this is not the final result you have to make couple of tweaks to really enhance the image but more on that on this chapter next let's see how to install the presets inside adobe photoshop open the software import an image as a new document convert this layer into a smart object open filter and camera raw filter and then open the presets panel tap this three dot and choose import profiles and presets here you need to select the xmp zip file and then import it that's it now you can access all the presets from here you can also control the intensity from here all right now let me show you how to actually use presets like a pro with a simple four step process for simplicity i'm showing you the full process inside lightroom mobile but it doesn't matter if you're using lightroom classic or photoshop the process is absolutely the same to begin with let's open an image and let's start by applying any preset let's go with this one okay the first thing you need to do is to control the intensity of the preset so tap here and play around with the intensity until you find a sweet spot all right now we have got a great starting point presets are actually meant for this it will give you a great start and you have to build your own look on top of this it's not for creating magic in one click anyway let's move on the next thing you need to do is fix the lighting so in this image i'm going to bring up the exposure slightly so we can clearly see the subject then we can increase the shadows to reveal the details in the shadow areas and we can also slightly bring up the blacks to reveal furthermore all right here's the before and this is after looking nice now let's move on to the next step which is fixing the colors in this image it's already looking nice however let's make some subtle adjustments so open the color tab go to color mix and from here we can tweak the colors i'm going to slightly reduce the saturation of the greens because i felt it's a bit too much okay we can also bring up the luminance so we can create a separation between the subject and the background and i'm also fixing the skin tones under orange keep in mind that the skin tones will be always coming under orange yellow and red so if the skin tones in your images are not accurate you can play around with these three colors okay fine let's keep moving next we need to fix the quality of this image you can control the quality of the image under effects and detail panel if your image is too soft you can slightly increase the texture and clarity it will be adding more detail into the image when it comes to detail panel you can bring up the sharpness to recover the details and here's a pro tip after setting up the sharpness just scroll down and adjust masking with your two fingers this simply means the sharpness will only be affected in areas which is highlighted in this white color so i would always raise it up okay so far here's the before and this is after if we recall from the beginning firstly we applied a preset controlled its intensity fixed the lighting 
fix the colors and now fix the quality. Now let's move on to the fourth and the final step, masking. Masking is a really important thing to do because it helps to separate the subject from the background. In other words, by using masking, we can bring more focus into our subject. In this particular image, we can bring more separation using masking. So open the masking panel, tap this plus icon to create a new mask and I'm going to choose select subject. Now the AI will automatically analyze and select our subject. Most of the time it does a great job but in some cases it will also include the surroundings. At that time you can subtract the mask with a brush and you can erase the extra selection. Okay. Now here after selecting the subject I'm going to invert the mask. So the masking will no longer affect our subject. It would only affect the background as you see here. Now I'm going to choose the light option and slightly bring up the exposure. Okay. I would also bring up the shadows so we can add even more separation. Alright. Here's before masking and this is after masking. See the difference. Since it's a close up there's no more need of masking but I'll show you one common masking I would always do in wide shots after this image. Now this image is ready to export. Tap the export button. Choose export as. Switch the dimension to custom. Set the long side 2.7k pixels. Make sure the quality is 100% and then export. You can follow the exact setting if you are going to post it on Instagram. The image will not lose quality after posting. Alright, now let me show you the common masking I would always do in my images. So here we have an image. To save time, I already made a dispense after preset. Let's open the masking panel. Create a new mask. Choose linear gradient. Slightly zoom out the image so we can have a better preview. Now just drag and place a linear gradient like this. We can also move it around and feather it. Now double tap on the image to get back to the default view. Alright, basically we are going to darken the foreground so we can bring more focus towards our subject. So go under the light option and bring down the exposure. If it's not enough, we can also bring down the highlights and whites. I'm slightly readjusting its position. Okay, fine. Now subtract this mask with the subject. So the masking will no longer affect our subject. Alright, here's the before and this is after. It is directing our eyes towards the subject. This single mask can make a huge difference. I use this technique very often. If you want to learn more about masking, I highly recommend you to watch the masking masterclass which is coming inside my ultimate travel bundle. Alright, hope you got a clear understanding on how to actually use presets. If you recall from the beginning, firstly we applied a preset, controlled the intensity, fixed the lighting, fixed the colors, fixed the quality and now we have done with masking. This is the first step process you must be doing when using any preset on your images. Hope you got some insights from this video. Make sure to download the free preset and practice on your images. If you have any doubts or feedbacks, kindly write it in comments. And thanks for your time.